Hello, my name is Mason Price, and I'm the construction manager for Greater Matthews Habitat for Humanity. My job, I am in charge of the new home construction, as well as critical home repair, and currently we just acquired uh, the Blue Cross Blue Shield Initiative for our fall, fall prevention program for our seniors, and that's what I do. Initially, I came to Habitat to learn how to build houses, and I had a, I had an interest in affordable housing. I think like any other citizen, they want to help out and kind of give back at the same time. I really didn't know to what extent we will be doing and helping out in the community with affordable housing. So I came to Habitat to learn how to build homes and to learn about that initiative. So since then, it has gotten a little bit better, I will say. What makes me stay at Habitat, it kind of follows back with the question number two, um, the affordable home initiative. We help out a lot of people. We help out more people than I thought that we would especially with um, our new construction. And I didn't really understand at first what Habitat did, but after I learned and I saw what we did for people, for our homeowners and for the, the people in our community alone, um, it was very shocking. Um, it was very heartfelt to know that we don't give homes away. And I know that is a big, really big mis you know, misconstruement. What we do is, is, is that, and I know everybody knows what we do, um, but I'm going to say it anyway, um, given that person that needs to get that, that hump, that leg up, you know, that help when you're a hardworking person and you just need some help just to take it to the next level. That right there is one of the biggest reasons why I stay is because you, it's not much help in that middle ground. Um, and I stay all, it's just a reward. Every day is almost like a reward knowing that in critical home repair also we help out. Um, those homeowners over there who have issues that cost so much money and they can't afford it, but yet we come and we save the day. And who doesn't want to be someone's savior? And it's so good that I can be that savior on a daily basis. And that's what keeps me at Habitat. I've only been at Habitat for about a year and a half, going on two years. Um, there has been some evolution. There's been some changes. However, the biggest thing has been recently with the Blue Cross Blue Shield initiative, which is our fall prevention, um, where we have not only just did critical home repair, which repairs homes. Now we are in installing grab bars, uh, slip resistant things in the tubs for our senior citizens in our community. Um, also lighting, anything that can help out a senior citizen um, from falling, which we don't really look at the statistics of people falling, of our seniors falling, which is one of the highest um, you know, insurance claims in America. However, that's one of the biggest re ways we have evolved. Um, number two, the city of Charlotte has given us more grant money to do more work for our community. Um, I don't want to go over the numbers to be exact because I could be wrong, but I do know we have got, we're getting an extra $75,000 this year to do more critical home repair. And that area is growing. Um, so, and with that, you have to be more savvy with more of your projects. It causes you to be more organized. Um, when I first got there, I was a little rough around the edges. I'll tell anybody. I know the teacher's probably laughing like, stop saying that. However... It is the truth, um, but now I have to be extremely, uh, way more organized with my job in order to keep continuing putting out our mission, especially for you know our critical home repair recipients as well as our homeowners. And so that's how my job has pretty much evolved since day one, um, and it's going to continue to evolve because I do see um, bigger, and better things in the future. This is a loaded question. This is, I think, the question of the year. 
Habitat for Humanities in Matthews, I can speak of, and I'm pretty sure worldwide, affects the community in so many different ways and in so many different layers. It is truly unbelievable in what capacity we help the community. Um, I can start out with our Builder Committee. These are the guys that come out. Um, most of these guys are retired, and they come out and they help out with our home builds. Literally, we could not build so many houses uh, without them and so many houses with so little mistakes without these guys. These guys are older guys, and, and what this does is this gets them out the house and get, keeps them active. I just said that they were retired, and if you look at the statistics of people retired, majority of the people that retire, within six or seven years, they pass away. We have one of the guys who's been volunteering for us for over 20 years. I want to say 30, but I'm not that accurate, but I know over 20 years. And so that right there keeps his blood pumping. It keeps him, you know, involved and it keeps him with stuff to do. And we have about 15 members on our builder committee. So with that being said, that's just one way we affect the community. Not to mention, if you don't know that in Habitat, where Habitat Home is built, there's 30, it cuts down the crime rate from 35% from the, from when we built, where we built our habitat homes. So it also it keeps the crime rate down, which I'm not sure we're gonna have that issue in Matthews, but still. Um, it, it, it rallies the troops in our community. Our volunteers come out and they help out so much. Um, on this build alone, we've had about two, we had three families that came out and consistently come out. It's because they like to see the progress of the house and it is it has given them a camaraderie to come out and join. And that's another thing. Habitat brings people together more so than I've ever seen in any other organization. And that's something wonderful to be a part of. And I mean, the way it affects community, OMG. That, like I said, it's such a loaded question and I can go on forever and ever. But those are just a few pieces. And I'm proud to be a part of that. Um, etc. One of the things I want to see uh, with Greater Matthews Habitat for Humanity and Habitat as a whole is consistency and growth. Um, new construction to build more homes, of course, in the future, as well as for critical home repair to make sure that we are helping and repairing and renovating more homes in the future and for those areas to multiply. Also with our new Blue Cross Blue Shield initiative that we also in those areas multiply and help more elderly people with the fall prevention. In order, just in order for us to really have a bigger and better mission, it has to become bigger and better. And the ways we do that is by being consistent. Um, and also we'll help our communities grow within that. So those are the things that I would like to see. Um, in the near future, in the future for Habitat for Humanity. And yes, I want to be a part of it. Anyway, my name is Mason Price. I'm your construction manager, and thank you for your time. Great.